Hey, what's up guys? The Sunday vlog is back. It is Saturday night. I'm here in my garage getting some rehearsal in for tomorrow. But I wanted to let you know from the outset that my friends at Sweetwater have hooked up with me for this video. And I want to talk about some stands. Yes, this is like sometimes the unsung hero, right, of our workflow is music stands, different kind of stands. But there's a company that I've been looking at for a while and Sweetwater had an opportunity so I jumped on it and it is Hercules. So three things I want to bring to you. Number one, um, I'm going to be setting up just this microphone stand. Um, this is kind of just like an all-purpose uh, low uh, stand, like the, the bass is low, but it's got a long arm on it. So this is going to be great for toms, snare, that kind of stuff. Um, so this is the Hercules stand, the reason for that. The next thing is a two-in-one tablet and iPhone stand. So again, there's a lot of options out there, but I'm going to dig into this. But they just make some of the most heavy-duty, sturdy dependable stands out there and then the third one I'm really excited about is this one this is their universal they call it podcast and camera arm stand but this thing is going to be a game changer for me I believe so if you know anything about my channel you know that I like to post overhead shots but sometimes it's difficult to get a good angle uh, for an overhead shot I've been using these kind of short more videography um, oriented uh, angles uh, and clamps for um, my GoPros, which they work amazingly well, I will continue to use them, but this one is extra uh, sturdy and it's a lot longer, so I think this one is going to give me a really great perspective. Um, so I'm going to have all of these uh, stands linked in the description of this video along with pretty much everything that I'm using. This practice kit I'm using, this amazing light that I'm using, uh, camera stuff, lens stuff, all of the microphones that I use I like on Sweetwater. So make sure to check that out. If you want to support my channel, the best way to do that is to use the links. Um, I even have a link just to Sweetwater's page. So if you want to just copy that link, like save it into somewhere like your browser or a note or something. When you go to shop at Sweetwater, just click that link. It'll take you to Sweetwater, but it'll use kind of my referral. So even if you buy like a piano or random cables or whatever, but use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it supports my channel. Um, so I would really appreciate it if you do that. So I'm going to get some rehearsal in uh, for tonight and get my camera stuff ready because I haven't really vlogged in a while. It's been a, a hot minute, so I need to get some things put together. But just wanted to hop on and show you those stands. We're going to be setting those up tomorrow at church. I'm going to be using all three of them. I'm um, really excited to show you kind of how they'll be useful in my workflow and see if they'll be useful for you as well. So um, let's dig into some rehearsal. Right, guys I just finished rehearsing uh, kind of first round at least and it is uh, 5 till 11 yeah, this is my massive softbox and so now I'm going to take a break I'm gonna get all my batteries charged plug in everything get my SD cards going so that's all over here and this mess of stuff cables I got batteries I got everything there so I'm gonna get that going um, and I'm gonna try to be in bed by midnight probably up by 5 at the church by 6 30 um so yeah excited so far feeling good about um we're doing uh mighty god trent Corey into lord your mighty i thank god the harvest music version which is a fun one and then um house of miracles and something else i can't remember the last one so yeah um feeling good so far it's kind of my normal routine but just taking a little bit more time just because i'm trying to get all my gear back together because it's been all over the place for work and stuff so here we go all right, fam, I packed my bag, got my batteries charging, gonna put those in the morning. So I got my bag all packed. Um, so I could, I guess, take some time and explain what all's in here, but 16 to 35, this is a new lens I got from B&H, like a Cine lens I'm trying out. My slider, uh, little battery plates, clamps, grip, A74, A6600, 16 millimeter on the A7C, cabling, other batteries. Uh, my GoPros are down there. Got three GoPros, the eight or the nine for overhead, eight for reels, and a five for time lapse. So if you guys are lucky and I have time, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six cameras going tomorrow. So it's overkill, yes, for sure overkill. But it's been a while since I did a Sunday vlog, so I figure you guys are worth it. Again, I got all my batteries charging in the, the house. It is um 11:30 at this point. So now that I've everything packed, I've had a kind of a break from my mind. I'm gonna hop back on the kit, 
um, run through the set a couple more times, and then again try to be in bed by midnight. So um, yeah, just packing up. That is what's in my bag generally. So everything is linked below. If you have a question about anything I'm using, it's probably in the description. So yeah, check it out. And I'll probably see you guys in the morning. Okay, uh, we're here, Sunday morning. Had some bumps and bruises. It's 7.30, 6.30, 7.30. Um, so got all my stuff loaded in. And now I'm gonna start setting it up. So replacing everything, getting it tuned up, and then we'll be rolling. So a little bit late start, but man, I'm out of the groove. So it's gonna be good. We're gonna make up for it. All right, that's a wrap. Um, man, incredible day today. Great worship set. Felt really good. A couple of funny things I may talk about, but like the intro of the first song, I, I don't know, I adjusted my mix during rehearsal, so I could not hear when the click came, or the loop came in, because it's like a super long intro. Long click intro, four bar loop intro, and then I come in like halfway through. So I missed it, but I don't think I messed it up. I think I just came in late. Anyways, you'll hear it. It's on um, uh, I Thank God, so. Uh, but these stands, so. Using these stands, absolutely incredible. So let me go through these. First one, that's the one I'm most excited about, is this guy right here. So this is the uh, the multi-clamp, but like the camera stand. So just, it's hard, I guess it's hard to explain like how, to me, how vital this is. It's a, not really a big deal, but it's like a necessary asset, right? Because I was not able to get, I'll show you some differences, I was not able to get a good overhead shot for the longest time because I had no good mounting point. I need a longer arm, but nothing that could clip. So this just like answers the question for me, drum overhead shot, this Hercules stand to me is the solution I've been kind of looking for, waiting for. It's perfect. It's heavy duty. It's not too heavy, easy to use. You can manipulate it very simply. Uh, it articulates at several different points. So first of all, love that. Um, Secondly, this iPad uh, clip is awesome. So I've got my iPad Pro in here with the case on and it held perfectly steady. I'm trying to see if I can remove it with one hand. Hold on. Okay, so let me talk about this. So it's got a clamp and I'm using it to you know clamp onto my hi-hat stand. Um, and then you can unscrew this, which allows it to both rotate um, you know up and down and this way so you can manipulate that way and then it's got this screw right here as well so I got that locked down really tight which again this is like 360 degrees on a, this ball head and then the thing itself which I know this is pretty standard for a lot of iPad clips it's not necessarily revolutionary but um, you know it's got like this foam right here so it's nice and padded there and then it's got these clips I don't even see that it's like little clips so this was able to hold and actually locked in my iPad and then um, the mechanism it's not a single mechanism like they're connected it's individual mechanisms here and it's just and it's super robust again I'm playing you know I'm playing the drums getting after it and that's attached to the hi-hat stand so um, this is absolutely gonna be my go to uh, hi-hat uh, kind of mount with for my iPad so that thing is a gonna use it every time all the time twice on Sunday well, just once on Sunday, one service. And then finally, um, this is a more of a kind of uh, generic uh, stand, which I don't know if you can see the little Hercules logo down there. Um, but uh, this is, I'm using it for snare bottom. So this is kind of like the short base uh, multi-clamp. So what I like about the, this one, that's kind of unique, it's kind of hard to see, but right here is actually like this clamp comes right off. So this is like a, uh, I don't know the, the term for it, but it's like this vice. And at first I was worried like, man, is that going to be enough? But this goes all the way down to that base and then like locks. So I can easily remove this if I need to. And then it you know reveals like threads. So I actually really like that about this stand. That's kind of a cool thing. So again, I know that this isn't like revolutionary, maybe exciting because it's like stands. But these utility pieces, if they go wrong, if you got the wrong one, Man, it's a nightmare. Um, the snare bottom like 
clip that we had was not working so I would find the snare bottom mic on the floor right so if that happens then your amazing snare tone is gone right so um, that's a little bit different uh, approach but these three stands for me these are going in my you know every weekend use so especially this guy right here this like multi uh, clip for I guess they call it the multi clamp um, uh, for my GoPro overhead is a game changer so yeah now time to pack up um, so I had uh, let's see I had a camera mounted there um, facing the kit this way I had this camera on this little slider here I have my reels cam right there I have my overhead cam and then I've got this guy doing a time-lapse he's plugged into that MPF battery so he can time-lapse all day so I didn't have six camera angles today I had one two three four five going so four in service and then five but yeah it was an amazing Sunday and uh, look forward to getting this stuff edited and cranked out for you but um, again like I've been saying for a while now um, the best way to support my channel if you want to support is uh, through the links in the description of this video so I'm uh, working with Sweetwater and B&H photo and so I have like even just a generic Sweetwater link so if you want to just click on that Sweetwater link and copy and paste that next time you shop at Sweetwater it doesn't cost you anything extra but it refers uh, the code to me basically saying that you know I got this from Daniel or you know you viewed my content or I brought you there so um, I also have a bunch of cool stuff that I like all the gear I'm using all that stuff is linked below and then um, I have like deal zone finds if I'm like scrolling through the deal zone I find something I'll, I'll put it in there so yeah um, but also I recorded my in-ear mix and so I'm I don't know where I want to do with that some people have been asking me for like you know full worship service in-ear mixes um, some people ask me to like um, go through and like talk about what's happening like you know voiceover So I don't know because I don't think that belongs on the channel. I think that's too much to include on my channel I think it would get kind of um, Cumbersome like that many videos for like one song because I would have like, you know the song the inner mix me talking about it would be like three videos for one song and then the full worship mix so let me know what you think but I, I may what I may end up doing is um, putting that on patreon uh, so that way on patreon I will have the inner mix of anything I post or even like the drums only mix right if you wanted to just hear the drums um, So yeah, also the other thing I'm, I'm working on is fountain So fountain is gonna be more of like the behind the scenes look of like my process Maybe the business of YouTube leadership stuff spiritual stuff So I've got those two things linked below as well because I've got YouTube patreon and fountain are kind of three outlets that have somewhat different things depending on what you want You can check those out. So yeah, um, man. Thank you guys so much for hanging out um, if this is the first time you've seen a video of mine, I've got over 600 videos on my channel. Drum covers, gear tutorials, all kinds of stuff. So check that out. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Share this with someone you think would enjoy it. Um, hit the like button. And uh, if you like this Sunday vlog, let me know in the comments. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.